Hello, everybody. My name is Ranger Russell. I live at the Parklands and help kids like you learn. Today, we are going to learn about what animals need to survive. Before we go any further, I wanted to point out that these are the things you need to survive too. That's right, because you're an animal too. Did you know that? You're mammals and I'm a reptile. And though the things we need to survive might look different, you don't eat worms, do you? There are four basic things every animal needs to survive. The four basic things we all need are food. Wow, this guy's really hungry. We all need water. We need shelter. And lastly, we need space. And like I said, these things might look different depending on what kind of animal you are. So I'm going to share with you what my needs look like. The first is my favorite, food. As a box turtle, I am what you call an omnivore, which is a fancy way of saying I eat just about anything. I will eat meat like worms and roly polies or plants like berries and greens or this peach you see here. As humans, most of you are also omnivores. Think about it. You probably love chicken nuggets or burgers, but your diet isn't made up only of that. A healthy diet is made up of fruits, vegetables, and grains too. The second animal need is water. Both you and I cannot survive long without water though the way we drink it might look a little different. For instance, I like to dunk my head in the water or soak in it to get hydrated. I've noticed humans like to drink their water out of a cup or a water bottle. I really prefer the way I do it, but I won't judge you. The third animal need is shelter. I am a pretty special animal because I carry my shelter on my back. That's right. My shell provides a perfect shelter for me. When it gets too cold, I will burrow underground to wait out the winter. But for the most part, I can sleep underneath the stars and let my shell do the rest. A good shelter provides protection from all the things that could hurt me, like predators and bad weather. I think my shell does a pretty good job. It is very hard, making it impossible for predators to bite through. Hey. Do you know how we got the name Box Turtle? It's not because I'm much of a fighter. Instead, people notice that box turtles can do this really cool thing with their shell called boxing up. When we're scared, we can pull all our body into our shell and close it up like a box so no predators can get inside. I'll let my buddy Francis demonstrate for you. As you can see, this technique protects all the soft parts of our body and leaves the shell to do the hard work. Now, I've never seen a human with a shell on its back, so I think your shelter looks a little different. Do you know what your shelter is? A lot of times people get confused between habitat and shelter. They are both used to describe a place where animals live. However, there is a big difference. See, my habitat is the forest. In the forest, I have all the animal needs we have been talking about. I have my food, my water, my shelter, and my space. My shelter is different because it only provides me with protection. It doesn't provide me with food, water, shelter, or space. I hope you understand the difference a little bit clearly now. Lastly, but certainly not least, we all need space. In the wild, box turtles like me have a home range about the size of one or two football fields. In this range, we know where everything is. We know where the best berries are and our favorite soaking spots. 
However, if my home range had too many box turtles or other animals in it, they might start to take up all my needs like food and water. If there is too much competition for these things and my home range is too crowded, I might explore outside my home range a bit and eventually find new spaces that aren't so crowded. I watch you humans play soccer and football all the time. It seems like you all like competition. However, competition for me isn't so fun. It might mean I will lose the things I need to survive. So if there's too much competition in one space, I need to find a new space. Do you ever feel like you need your own space sometimes? As you can see, what I need and what you need are the same, but they look different. This is the same for many different types of animals depending on where they live. For this explanation, I'll hand it over to my good friend, Randy. What's up? I'm Randy, and I know Russell has given you a great explanation about what all animals need to survive. But what I wanted to show you is how these things might look different depending on where we live or our habitats. So as you can see, I live most my entire life in the water and spend a little time on land basking in the sun. I'm still an omnivore like Russell, which means I eat plants and meat. However, I eat plants and meat you can find in the water, like small fish and aquatic plants, or these special pellets my humans feed me that have fish and plants in them. I love these things. I can't get enough of them. We both have shells for shelter, but you might have noticed they look a lot different, not just in the color, but the shape too. Mine is not as round as Russell's. Instead, mine is flat so I can swim through the water faster and easier. Unfortunately, I cannot do that really cool box thing with my shell like Russell and Francis, but my shell is still really hard, which protects me. I can also swim away really fast if I need to, to protect myself from predators, thanks to these large webbed feet I have. Did you notice that Russell and I's water needs look different? Although we both live off the same type of water, which is fresh water, the amount we need is a little different. See, Russell can get by with a small stream or a pond to soak in and drink out of. But since I live in the water most of my life, I would not be happy in such a place. My habitat needs to include enough water for me to swim freely in. Other types of turtles, like sea turtles, need entire oceans filled with salt water to survive. It's all water, but it's a little different. So as you can see, we are both turtles, but we are way different when it comes to what our needs look like. I hope you really enjoyed this video and get to come see us one day at the Parklands. Remember next time you're walking in nature, think about what different animals need to survive.